Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I will be describing and demonstrating a nerve slide for the dorsal scapular nerve. You want to stand or sit in good posture, abduct the shoulder to 90 degrees and flex the elbow to 90 degrees. The forearm is going to be in a pronated position so the palm will be facing the floor. From here, you are going to perform horizontal adduction. So you are bringing the forearm across the body. And you want to bring it so that your thumb is close to or touching the opposite shoulder. From here, you're going to rotate the neck about 45 degrees and then flex the neck. Basically, you're putting your chin towards your armpit. You're going to hold this position for one second and then you're going to simultaneously perform the motion where you're bringing your arm back, you're performing external rotation of the shoulder, and you are rotating the neck to the opposite side. And you're going to hold this position for one second. Then you move back to the other position. In this position, the neck is rotated about 45 degrees and flexed so that the chin is towards the armpit. Hold this for one second and then slowly move the shoulder and externally rotate the shoulder so the palm is facing up and you are rotating the neck to the opposite side and hold this position for one second. This is a nerve slide exercise for the dorsal scapular nerve. The dorsal scapular nerve is the motor innervation for the rhomboid major, the rhomboid minor, and the levator scapula muscles. This is a serious condition if there is an entrapment of the dorsal scapular nerve. I already have a video that really covers this in detail. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description box below. And also I have anatomy videos where I discuss the dorsal scapular nerve and the muscles that it innervates. So I'm going to put a link to those videos in the description box below. So you could learn more about this condition and you could learn more about the anatomy of the structures that are related to this condition. Nerve slides are also known as nerve flossing neural mobilization and nerve glides. They should be performed slowly. They are precision motions. Each nerve has a slightly different motion where you are performing the nerve slide. So you want to learn exactly how to perform these motions. And how they work is they help to lessen the encasement of the nerve. And they do this by allowing it to move better between the muscles. So it helps to lessen the encasement of scar tissue that may be trapping it or compressing it against a muscle. When you are performing a nerve slide for the dorsal scapular nerve, you want to sit or stand in good posture. You are going to abduct the shoulder about 90 degrees. Flex the elbow and hold the forearm in a pronated position. So the palm is facing the floor, the forearm and the upper arm are parallel to the floor. And you are going to perform horizontal adduction by bringing the forearm across the body. The thumb can be touching or close to the opposite shoulder. You're going to rotate the neck and then flex the neck so that your chin is facing your armpit. Hold this position for one second and then slowly move the shoulder and externally rotate the shoulder while you are simultaneously rotating the neck. Hold this position for one second and then perform the horizontal adduction.
You could perform between three and 15 repetitions per day, and you could add a handful more repetitions as needed.